Also, the Plateau State Police Commissioner Bartholomew Onyeka on Friday visited the scene of the tanker explosion that occurred around Bauchi Junction of Joth North, local government area of the state. Trust TV had on Thursday reported that 13 people were killed while several others were injured in the incident. Vehicles, tricycles and shops were also burnt during the incident, as Ado Musa reports. Aside the casualty figure recorded from the incident, motorists were left stranded due to the gridlock that followed the explosion. After the incident, hotlooms in their numbers blocked the Josbochi Road, accusing firefighters of arriving late to the scene. This made some motorists to make a U-turn to avoid being trapped in the gridlock. While assessing the level of damage caused by the explosion, the police commissioner explained how the incident occurred. When we got information of a trailer that is loaded with diesel coming from the town and heading to Bauchi Axis. So on getting to this Bauchi Junction, the front side of the truck went off. The commissioner also gives an update on the casualty figure from the incident. And about 13 persons that were born beyond recognition also. And 10 people that were injured have been taken to various hospitals in the state for medical attention. The police commissioner, however, condemned the attack on FRAC officials whose vehicles were destroyed and burned during the rescue operation. Rescue people, take them to hospital. But instead, people resorted to attacking them. What do we gain from all these kind of things? It is not good. Please, we want to call on the good people of Plateau State. This is not a good one. This is not good at all. And we should all condemn it. Because this will not take us to anywhere. We are working around the clock, ensuring the town, the entire state is protected. And people are there by the side trying to create more problems for us. It is not fair. Let us at least for once try to be law abiding in whatever condition or situation we find ourselves. Now, what have they succeeded in doing? Have they now rescued those of them that were burnt or those that were taken to the hospitals? So it's not a good one. Please, let us call on the religious leaders, the stakeholders in the state. The commissioner, however, called on religious and community leaders to prevail on their words to avoid criminal activities, which he said would not take anybody anywhere. Ado Musa, Trust TV News, Joss. Still on the Plato tanker explosion, the state governor-elect Caleb Muftuang has commiserated with families who lost their loved ones in the Thursday tanker explosion in Joss. Muftuang, in a statement signed by Giang Biri, special assistant on media to the governor-elect on Friday, expressed sadness over the incident that also led to loss of properties worth millions of naira. The governor-elect assured citizens of the incoming administration's commitment to restructuring the state towards providing more roads for free flow of traffic in Joss and its environment.